Get in. Good morning. I know. Good afternoon and good evening when you're watching this. Back out again today because I love it. What? <laughs> the car box just opened on its own. Yeah, it's magic. <gasps> right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening where you're watching back out again today because I love it. We're off from Metal Detention today. First half of this video was Woodlands, which we went to um, for our sins. For our sins. Hello, boys. Holly's talking to birds. Because birds have the concept of speaking English. It's a crow, so of course it can speak multiple languages. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, today we're off out on a stubbly field. Um, it won't be stubble for very long, so we're going to go try and get as much as we can out of it. And there is a very good omen, actually, because you know, actually, I do like the birds. A very good omen. I'm going to show you. Hugging and mugging. They're out. Two crows. I don't know if you saw that or not. There's lads. two crows there. Lads, lads, lads. So, yeah. Maybe that's a good sign for things to come today on the field. I hope so. Especially yeah. having a pop at those magpies. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this sort of thing, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, uh, metal detecting related channel. We love it. We love going out with digging holes and um, getting muddy and finding shotgun ends and 303s and <laughs> tin foil and ring pulls. And the occasional good thing. <laughs> Very occasional good thing. <laughs> but it's real metal detector, none of this malarkey, none of this planting hole. Tell you what I saw, amazing. I I, I did pro, pro like peruse. What, peruse. That's the word I'm for. <laughs> peruse um, the YouTube algorithm of detecting channels, and there are some people that set up three cameras and do live digs on a hole. Three cam, so three different angles on one hole. If you do that for every signal that sounds good, how much footage? <laughs> so you haven't just got the one video of oh sounds good, sounds like a hammered. You've got. Three cameras worth doing that on every hole that sounds good. Something doesn't compute in my head. <laughs> but that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Won't name and shame anyone. We're off out digging anyway. Um, don't forget, we've got a new sponsor. And who is it, Ollie? Dragon. Hey, finally. <laughs> Not this. And, uh, Not then. He's in the middle of that. Dragon. Dragon detecting. So, yeah. Little dragon. Dragon detecting. Um, 10% discount code off using the word. Plain and simple. Right, let's this malarkey. Let's get them fields. It's a bit blowy today, so I do apologise for any wind and noise. I do have wind mics, but I very rarely use them because I don't like the sound quality. It sounds very tinny. I like the I like the rawness of uh, <laughs> the sound, so you actually hear the environment we're out digging in. Um, but yeah, I know sometimes it can be a bit bad, but I try my best. Hopefully, it shouldn't be too bad. I kind of shelter it with my hand, or put my back to the wind, or stick you in a hole, or try all these little things going on, but. Right, is that it? Yeah, it's nice outside. It is nice. It's actually quite climate and warm. Mm. Might be a bit of an overkill. Car's getting all steamed up. Right, let's gas in. <laughs> See you on the fields. Off we flop. <laughs> I'm just detecting here. It's got a shotgun end. I heard a woo. Holly goes, they got some silver. Oh. It's beautiful. Woo. Is that Ooh. Oh, God. Isn't that gorgeous? You don't expect us. Focus. Beautiful. There you go. Just focusing now. That is quite nice, that. Little pin badge. Yeah. I don't think that's silver. We'll do a test on it and get home. Yeah. I changed cameras just to get a better look on it because the other one wasn't focusing. Yeah. That's nice. It's cool, that. Yeah. Little pin badge. Is it broken there? That's what I thought. I don't know if it's broken or if it's just the bust of it. Or just the head. Either or, that's pretty cool. Ah. And let's look at the coin you found. All I found is shotgun ends. <laughs> Georgian. So there will be hammers. There will be hammers. Oh, I love my little stag. That's what Holly found. <laughs> that's what I found. Nothing but... I had let's about... just grab a handful, shall we? I probably had there about we go. 12 shotgun ends. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky jammy git. Yeah, that's how I felt when you found the Intaglia ring though. <laughs> well, yeah. That little dog on it. <laughs> Holly has just informed me, underneath her wet proof muddy trousers, what are you wearing, Holly? Pajamas. Pajamas. 
and tight. And tight. Can't make this girl up. Right, crack on. Well, on to my first coin of the day. To me, this is be a modern penny. I could be wrong. But yeah, it's a very rotty, modern, yeah, there you go. Port colours of disappointment. There's the port colours of disappointment. It's a modern penny with our late Queen Elizabeth II on it. There we go. Rubbish. Still, it's a coin. I found it amongst all these shotty ends. <laughs> Oh, have mercies, it's not a shotgun end. The thing is top of a button, I've already picked it up, had a wipe. It's got a gorgeous design on it, hence why I'm showing you. Uh, yeah, I think that's like a cap of the top of a button or something. Yeah, nice design on it. At least it's not a bloody shotgun end. It's weighing me down now. That is just full of shotties. Anyway, that'll go on the good side. Let's fill in this tiny little hole. Let's uh, crack on. Hoppy flop. So I have just realised that uh, my wellies are on the wrong feet. Oops. I'm a punishment to myself. Uh, I've done nothing but shotgun ends. I've just been rewarded with a debuckle. Oh. Do you know, normally, I wouldn't, you probably wouldn't even film one of these little buckles, but today, it's been that hard going. I feel happy to have that in my hand rather than a billion shotgun ends. So yeah. That's exactly the same size as my thumb. Should we call it a thumb buckle? Boop, boop. Right, then the pot, off we flop. Oh my lord, this sounded just like a bloody shotgun end. I think I've been rewarded with a Roman. <laughs> I didn't film that, but I dug that up as well. It's a wing mirror or something. But yeah, the rest of it is literally just those shotgun ends and junk. Fine, I'll just a bit old. I think it is anyway. I think it's gonna be a Roman. Is it? Is it? Oh, it is. Oh, let's get some clean. I might get some detail off that. I sometimes get good details off the ones in the woods. Yeah. Give me a second. Get it. Finally, <laughs> something old. Get rewarded for digging up all the rubbish. You really do. Give me a second. Well, I've had a bit of a clean up, and I don't think there's much details left on this one, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, that side's pretty smooth. This side, I think I can make out a nose. Here and the brow, or possibly an ampro looking right. Yeah, in the back of his head here. Yeah, he's on the Roman. Happy days. Shame it's not better. Nick all made of silver or gold, but I'm happy with that. I really am. That made it worthwhile digging up. I'm gonna say no less than triple figures of shotgun ends today. But anyway, something's finally going in the good pot. Pot. Right, off you flop. Oh, I'm onto another coin. I don't know what that one is, you know, it looks like a half penny size. It's very covered in wooden muck. Right, I'll have a clean up, is there any details off that one? Uh, or can I? Yeah, have a quick clean up and see. Looks to me, this looks like a Victorian. Or is it? No, I don't know. It's a half penny size. Anyway, so it's not. Ship half penny, there you go. Nothing to write home about, but still another coin. A good pot from the hole, off we flop. A couple of steps away, and I think I want another coin. Little pockets built or something. Sat in there, now it's sitting here. Is that another ship half penny? Little pocket spill. Always good to have. I'm gonna say another ship half penny, look at that. Half penny size, anyway. Yeah, ship half penny. Two ship half pennies, the ship half penny pocket spill. A couple of coins, right. I'm after the older stuff, like Roman. If I had one up today, I can get more, I know it. What's going on here? Ship half penny, ship half penny, another coin up, boom, I think it's another ship half penny. <laughs> Someone very a, a scattered hoard, a half penny hoard. Yeah, that was a bit more crusty though. Yeah, back to back. Back to back to back to back to back coins. They're not the old ones. I'd love it if they're all Roman or Saxon or Celtic or even medieval, but they are pretty decimal. Coinage, not complaining. They're not shotgun end. So <laughs> let's fill in this hole and let's keep digging. Well, I don't do any do lives, especially in the woods, because they usually get inundated with a lot of shotgun ends. But the way things are going, this sounds like another bloody half penny. Is it? Yeah, it's 
about here. I've never seen that deep to be fair. To be fair. Uh, a little wiggle. It's out, out. Ah, needle these spiky things and brambles. Yeah. I'm loving it. Let's find a holly in a minute. Find out where. There you go. Wait a minute. That's different. That looks more like. Oh no, it's just the mud. I thought it had like a rectangular shape on it. <laughs> it's not. It's never. I going to say half penny. That one looks like our present queen on that one. So it's not even too old. I keep calling our present queen. It's our late queen. It's another ship half penny. Can you add them and eat it? Collecting them now. I scan this area, see if they drop any silvers as well. I'm gonna start filming them after this one. I think that's another one. I think that's another one, literally just next to the, the others. Yeah, it is. Very corroded. Usually the woodland coins come up a little bit better than field coins because there's no. That's oh, smooth. Smooth as a baby's bottom. Dunk. Yeah. I'm still going to call that another half penny. All right. I'll let you know tally if I get any more. But other than that, I won't film any more. But still, half penny hoard. Woohoo! The half penny hoard leading down here. Uh, shop then. Um, I'm going to kneel on these. Forgive me, but it might be worth it. This came up. They're not coins. They're buttons with a design of a castle on them bottle lids but I'm not gonna say they're buttons because that looks like it's a piece of old leather they're still attached to they all got a design on them a little wipe shall we should check the old there's nothing else in there just this yeah look they've all got a design on them but they're all different they are, they're all different pin badges. They're all different pin badges on a piece of leather. That's different. What's that one? Just gently peeling off this horrible crudness to reveal pictures. Yeah. Another little pin badge, another little pin badge, another little pin badge, another little pin badge. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That? That's definitely going on my pot on my good side. Let's just get around, shall we? What on earth would have that been? Yeah, I think that is it. Just picking up my spade if you wonder what that noise is. But still, any ideas on what that could have been? You never know what's beneath your feet. It's not ancient, but it's still something to think about. We have caught up with her name is Holly. Hello, her name is Holly. Hello. Hello. Well, we're just about to head back to the car I now. Want to count them. You want to count your shotgun ends? Yeah. Shall we have a count off? Yeah. So you've got I want to count a bit of biro. <laughs> bit of biro, the metal bit in the nib. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's count. Well, shall we have a. Oh, I'll switch the camera off and we'll have a quick round up. Oh, well, there's your purse bar. Yeah. She found uh, part of a purse which. The other bits in there, so... Broken up, but. We'll have the good bits. First of all, we'll have a count up of shotgun ends and see who's got the most. Who do you reckon wins, me yeah. or Holly? Let's go. Well, that's been a while since it's a roundup like this, like this here. Um, wing mirror button thing, which you've just seen, deep buckle, a couple of 303s, all of these shotgun ends. At what point would you have stopped? Would it have been like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60? Well, at what point would you have stopped digging shotgun ends? Uh, I'm about 60, maybe was it 67 I counted? What he's got, oh, these are uh, packets of 10. I'm sure they're packets of 10, yeah? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Ooh. 70. 70 odd shotgun ends. 10, 20, 30, 40. 80. 80. <laughs> 
Oh, Holly Dog in the 80s. Holly Dog in the 80s, I Dog. Oh, there's the Oh, the rest of the purse bar thing, yeah. What's your find of the day, Oles? Me stag. Your stag, my, my dear friend. Your dear friend. Um, I also had, open that up and have a look at my Roman. I had my Roman up along with a little coin spill of half pennies of shit persuasion. Uh, oh, and a lovely button, I forgot about that. Chunky boy. So, yeah, had a few half, got another one in there as well, I think. No, that's, yep, yeah, another half penny and another penny. So, yeah, that's a coinage along with a Roman. But was it worth it? Ask your question, was it worth it? I had a weird bit of weirdness. A weird bit of weirdness. Okay. A little. A little. Bit for a tag or something. Button that I thought I had a gem in the middle because it's it... got a website, so you know it's not that old. <laughs> oh, I had one of them. No, oh, mine was a cufflink with a yeah, that's quite a cool button. That uh, the horseshoe with the pin still in. Oh, an iron horseshoe yeah. with the pin still in. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna say it's more of an ox shoe looking at that size of it. Yeah, that's cool. What's that? I don't know, aluminium crap. That's right, it's not needed. Aluminium rubbish, right. <sighs> and shrapnel. And shrapnel. And foil. And foil. If you like this sort of thing, digging up absolute garbage. It's good, we're cleaning out the are. We are taking it all with us to put in the back of my car to then be disposed of properly. But anyway, yeah, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. See you on our next adventure. This is probably a two part video, you're probably going to see. The next video will probably be a lovely bit of pasta or some stubble, or mm. yeah, I think I'm going to give up on the woodlands just for the time being. But let's keep digging. Off you flop. Right, we've got about four acres of woodland here. It's bigger than we expected, and it's lovely and clear to the ground. Look, so yeah, we're going to smash it out today. And some holly, and there's a river at the bottom of this one as well. So, whoop, whoop. It's a long old drive, but worth it. Exciting. Exciting. Who knows what we're going to find? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm on to probably the most intact I've ever seen harmonica reed. Ding, 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 Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's proper intact, that one. Probably was a little bit longer, maybe. But other than that, yeah, harmonica reed. Cool. Alright, let's jump onto the first coin. It's just a threepenny bit, but it's in very bad shape. We would have had like the crown with the knobbly bits on that side and would have had a monocle on that side, but it's very bad shape for a woodland. Still, first coin of the day. Whoop, whoop. And almost right next to it. He's onto another one. That one looks like a, I'm gonna say a pre-decimal penny. But again, that is toasted. That is absolutely might clean up well but still second coin of the day whoop, whoop. on to another i think it's a coin very misshapen i think i don't know it's got bowed back on it. let's get a clean up and see if get anything off this one that's a strange it could even be roaming you know let's give it a clean up it's quite heavy though so i think it's lead let's clean it up and see if we can get anything off it two secs all right i didn't ask for clean up i think that's just an old lead button because it's domed this side here and flat this side. I think it's a coin. Uh, yeah, this domed sort of pewter leadish button. Nothing, no details on it as such. I can see like a little, see a little black hole where it would have been fixated. Fixated, so yeah, just a baton. Baton. I think I may have stumbled onto a Victorian bottle dump. <laughs> Big bit of glass masonry bit here. Which popped out. And this, with liquid still in it. Can you drink that? <laughs> if this gets a million likes, I'll drink the contents of this bottle. Well, well, well if it does get a million likes, well, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happened. Can we, uh, so 255 paint and pat. What's that say at the top? Uh, Heinz? This is a ketchup bottle. HJ Heinz Company. This is not. Is that ketchup what happens after it, after hundreds of years in the ground? <laughs> Turns to agua. Well, lid's still. Oh, oh, some on the lid. 
51. Is that ketchup? 57. Heinz 57. That is ketchup. That's an old ketchup bottle. <laughs> I think it is. I'll have a little research and see if it is. That's pretty cool. Could we please not have this in the ground? Those people watching, can we please take our gold foil with us? It stops people having heart attacks when they dig it up. Okay, public service announcement over. Thank you. Well, we're gonna have a quick catch up with Holy. Holy, you get it? Holy. Yeah, that was, I fell down that. <laughs> Holy fell down yeah, a holy. See the skid mark where I fell? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 no. oh, 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 into the stream. <laughs> no. Right, people want to see what you found, Holes. Holy. Holy. What have we got? I don't know. What's that? No idea. Bit shit. It's aluminium as well. It's rubbish. Oh, big, big. big you love the big D, don't you? The big D buckle. Wow. <laughs> the big D buckle. Jesus. Get your mind out of the gutter. Oh, a kniff. Another kniff. Another kniff. And a uh, Nivea. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, a little Saxon gaming yeah. piece <laughs> again. Is that still got the wood? Is that still got the wood yep. peg in it? Yep. I wonder what it's still got the wood in it. <laughs> still got the wooden peg. That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, hey, well done, hole. Another coin. Look at that. It looks almost been burnt. Focus. Okay. Hear yeah, the wind. Yeah, I think I don't know. Actually, can't tell. I get an edge on it. So we can get an idea on this one. Look at that, I've got all of my trousers from rubbing stuff. Stop rubbing stuff then. Well, I can't help it, it's a habit. That's crusted. Be nice to find out what kind of coin that is. If it's Georgian, there's a good chance it might be hammered here. But if it's just, I don't know, I'm getting a Georgian vibe off, you know. Could be. Cool. On to yet another coin. Uh, you have a pre decimal penny though. Well, don't get me wrong, I do enjoy digging coins up. It'd be nice if they're silver. Or, to be fair, it'd be nice if they're a little bit older. That's definitely a pre-decimal penny. I don't think that's as old as the last one, but... Yeah, and it's really tarnished in the woods, trying to get monarchs and stuff off them. It's trying to... Yeah. Oh, well. Another coin for the pop. Pop flop. Second heart supper of the day. Look at that. Yeah, excuse the chainsaw noise. That's the old... Uh, Landowner cutting down some trees, uh, but yeah, a big old gold buckle. Damn it! Anyway, let's keep digging. Only found one. It's my turn now. Oh, pen knife. Find a lot of these. A lot of these metal detecting, considering they're mainly iron. But this, uh, yeah. Cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, onto my first bit of silver. Where was it? I just saw it. I just... It was here. Oh, leaf blowing over the top of it. <laughs> Little silver sixpence. I think that's 50% silver. Set the date, let's check the date. Uh, I can't see the date. There it is. The date's on this side. Yeah, I'm gonna call it 50% silver sixpence anyway. Let's crack on. I just caught out of the holes. She's found something pretty cool. It's a ruined necklace of a dagger with a jewel in it, but I don't think it's of age. <laughs> I think it's quite a modern representation of. Still awesome though. That is still pretty cool. Cool. And you just had a coin up. Yeah, it's a penny, I think. There you go. Necklace. Uh... <coughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, you turn it. Got a penny though, look, it's definitely a penny. <laughs> My little Saxon piece is gone now. Well, I've only had a metal detector to find it. One of these things, look, ready? Oh, yours is on. That's why your battery dies. Well, no, because I'd literally just dug a hole. There's something there. Is that your little? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my lord, right. So destructive. Well, I've just shown Holly's necklace. I'm onto a necklace now with uh, it should be is it silver? It should be some sort of silvery charms or something on it. Oh, rupees, four rupees. 
it's an Indian offering. Ah, I did it. There was more noises in the hole as well. Where is it? Indian offering. Is that a bit more there? What's that? Right, there's definitely some more in here. Oh, a little bit of chain. A little bit of chain in what? Well, that's a big old scan with a big one. But I don't know if that's silver or not. Looks silver. Look at that. White. It's also like a little bronze thing on it as well. Is that just like another? I don't know. I'll have a little clean up and see if we can get any more. That's pretty cool, hey. Don't know if mine's better than Holly's or not. Is it an Indian offering? Who knows? Ah, uh, I should drop that bit. Cool. I thought this was, ah, look at that, they were a red brick. I thought this was a bullet, first of all, and I gave it a wipe, and I thought, oh, that's a bit light. That's an arrowhead, it's another arrow bolt. Let's took all the wood inside. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, I don't know, being hit by that. I don't think it's too old, though. It's a bit of a shame, I think it's a modern, a modern-ish one. Still, it's an arrow bolt. Here we go, Holly Live. Holly Live, what's it going to be? Next to this big tree. What's it going to be next to this big tree on a Holly Live? Well, I'm going to find a big tree. Well, there's a big tree in front of you. Oh, oh. Is it going to be a tree? Is it going to be a Oh, if you zoom in. Doink. Doink. Two two bullet. <laughs> Such foliage. Oh. What is it? Two two bullet. Yes. Hey, it's like I read minds. <laughs> Back out on this windy day because I love it. It's really windy. All the trees are making windy noises. <laughs> um, if you don't get to see this video, it is found on my dead body after a tree has fallen upon my bonce. Just so you, let you know that I appreciate every one of you. All them thumbs up and all the subscribe, subscribers and all them comments, which I do actually read. So, thank you very much. Next thing you know, I'm going to apologise again for being back in the woods. There is method in my madness. This time of year, before spring, before everything comes shooting out the ground, you can actually get the coil to the soil. So, in some ancient woodlands today, I'm going to try and find anything that's not... 303 shotgun and or a bit of shrapnel. Wish me luck. This may be a absolute baptism of fire for me again. But I'm gonna persevere. Dig up those shotgun ends. Dig up them 303s. Hopefully find something of any age. That is, oh that sun really caught me by my, any age that is over 300 years old, I'm a happy man. Find a single object at 300 years old, I'm a happy man. Right, less of this. Let's get the machine. Let's get in some woodlands, try and find some patches to detect. I have had Roman, I had some really good condition Roman coin in this woods. So fingers crossed I could get some more. Well, my first signal, I saw a glint of gold. I thought, I'm not this lucky. It's, it's a screamer, but it's just a bottle lid of gold. It's not even gold, is it? It's silver. <laughs> this is a broken bottle lid. Uh, yeah, not what we're looking for. But at least my first signal was like the shotgun end or a 303. So, small mercies, small mercies. I'm happy with that. Right, let's crack on. Uh, this sounded like a shotgun end, but it's not. It rang up in the shotgun end era as well. But I think that's either a Roman or a hammered coin. Oh, what is it? It's going to be a button, isn't it? It's going to be a blade. It's not. Oh, it's not. 
That's a silver Roman, I think. <laughs> All right, let's get a bit of a clean up. Oh my Lord, <laughs> did not expect this. Uh, see any details of it, it's silver, so we should be able to, I think it's silver. Let's give it a blast. Right, I believe it to be silver Roman, but it's in pretty bad nick. I think that's the head side there. Yeah, it is, look. You've got his nose. It's got something at the back of his head. It's got like a, see the top of his head there, his nose. Ne is it Roman now? I think it's silver Roman. I'm going to say Roman. I could be wrong on this side. I'm looking through the camera. I can't quite make out what's on that side. A little bit of lemon juice, and this will come out gorgeous, hopefully. But yeah, that's what I think that is. Get in! <laughs> I got rewarded, literally. I've only just started as well. Whoop, whoop. I don't know why I get, see, I get more excited over Silver Roman than I do Gold Celtic sometimes, because I don't get many of them. Um, I can't wait to clean it up when I get home and see what Emperor it is. It looks like an early one. But, and it all surprises me in the woodland how shallow they actually are. How shallow the coins actually are. But it ran up like a shotgun then, and I promised myself today I'm digging every sickle just to, you know, limit anything out. Just to persevere of it. And it has paid off already. Perseverance has already paid off. <laughs> Will it pay off anymore though? This is the thing. It's only early days, got a few hours out left. Let's crack on. I just got another coin. It's next to the roots. I don't think it's Roman though. Oh, two, I'll switch around. It's there, look, you see what I was trying to get through the roots? I think that's, I think that's more Georgian to be fair. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's Georgian. <laughs> now that's really tarnished that is. Yeah, that's, yeah, I'm gonna say it's Georgian. I thought almost I saw a spiky bit there, the helmet of a Roman, but I don't think that is. It's too, ra too round and too flat to be Roman. Cool. Second coin, not far from I just had the silver one. I'm gonna keep scanning this area. It might be a little hot spot. Cool, cool. Happy days in the woods so far. Right, ladies and gentlemen, just out of this hole here, I kicked the clod open and this was revealed. I thought, oh, it's lots of gold. That's just a button. Why am I showing you a button? It looks like you've got a little panda or something on it. <laughs> Definitely some sort of bear. Gold gilded bear button. <laughs> pretty cool. Never found one with a bear on it before. It's pretty awesome. Right, let's keep going. Right, out of this hole here came this. I believe. I don't know if that's a Roman. I think it is, you know. Could be Georgian, very, it's almost misshapen though. Very thin to be a Roman, so I don't know. If it is a Roman, I've never had them this thin before, but I can see a crown actually. Or maybe it's just a foreign coin. I'm not sure on that one. Something facing towards the right, but look, it's just not giving me Roman vibes. It looks a bit too thin. What do you reckon? Hmm, I don't know, I'll put it in the good pot. We'll see what comes of it. Right, crack on. I hear some weird noises in the wind in the woods. I keep thinking someone's behind me. A bit weird. Anyway, I put both headphones on, I can't hear, can I? That'd be brilliant. Right. Something else is not a shotgun end. It's a buckle. It rang up a bit low for a buckle. A little bit green of persuasion, no doubt. Yeah, I'm going to say it's Georgian. Georgian boot buckle. Well, as Georgian is hammered. Can I get a hammered in the woods? It'd be nice. But it's a Georgian boot buckle. I oh, ain't complaining. I'm onto something else that isn't a shotgun end. 
supposed to be another coin. Uh, I think that is very crusty. Is it even a coin? Is that a coin? It's got like rust on it this end. Might be a coin. Why has it got rust here? Why is it rusty? For why are you rusty coin? Uh, or button? Uh, possibly button or coin. I'm not too sure on that one. But at least it's not shoddy. Just for those bag is literally there you go that's how full it is shotgun end still digging through it and being rewarded cool found an old lighter is it an actual genuine zippo though this is the thing it looks the size of one but it will have zippo written on the bottom let's have a clean up and have a look actually it looks a bit big to be a zippo right that's the clean up Uh, got something written on it. It's not a Zippo. Oh, it would have been gold plated, look. Uh, Hudson Korea. Ah, oh, yeah, that there. It's not a Zippo. I wonder what design it would have had on the front. Still, yeah, that hinge is definitely gone. Shame, I thought it might have been a, a Zippo. As you can tell the date of the zippo, they've got uh, like um, letters which tells you the date of it. Yeah, it would have been gold gilded or even just gold plated or you know what I mean. It would have had a lovely look of gold about it, but I don't know what design it would have had on it, but still, it's a fake zippo. Cool. And I'm on to something else. It's dead center of the screen. It's a pistol ball. It's a pistol ball, it's not a shotgun end. Ooh. Happy with that. Little pistol ball. 